Welcome back everyone Grojan here and today we are going to be having a look at United Penguin Kingdom Huddle Up and this is a new game that's coming out in 2024 and it looks really good so far. We get access to the first year of the game because it's still in development but up to now it looks really good so we are just going to go and start a new game. Everything is just going to go as normal. Um, the three islands on the map we can't do anymore until the full version of the game is with us. And what do we want to choose as our little thing? We're going to go for... We'll keep that badge. And we're going to go for the little drunk penguin, I guess. And we are just going to be called Grojan. Right, and then we're just, yeah, we're just going to start the game. Now, we start off with a little colony of penguins. we got some babies, some adults. And we're just on this little iceberg. Welcome. This is a great area to start a new settlement. First, you should place the initial buildings. These buildings can be placed in any order you prefer. So we need a builder's hut, warehouse, small food storage pharmacy treasury and a huddle center so this is what we've got to work with this little island there are a couple more islands over there which you can purchase but we can not just yet so we want to just get our little place started middle mouse button turns our thing around so we're going to do a builder's hut a warehouse might do that a where do we want to do it i'm going to space these out nicely i think a small food storage which i'm going to place by the warehouse just in case that's what we need it a pharmacy uh, let's stick that one up there. A treasury. And a huddle centre. Going to go and put the huddle centre right there. Okay, so you're ready to start your penguin settlement. Good luck. So, we have got loads of penguins. They're all homeless and we've got a new task. So it tells us we've got to build one kid's house, three lodges and a wind turbine to power them. So, housing. We've got a kid's house. I think I might just move these out of the way of the little production area a little bit. And we'll put one there. Building construction is halted. Place people in the builder's hut. So while we're here, we might as well just top them all up. It does give you a little education and productivity thing. So these are only 14% on productivity. And this one, Selman, is 18%. So we'll get that one in instead. And they'll all go off and start working now. So we have got our kids' house. And we need to do three lodges. But before I do that, I might just get our little power wind turbine up. Just so we can see where we're going to build around. Not too keen on having my little wind turbine right next to a kid's house, like, but it'll be fine. Right, so we're going to just do one there, one there, and one there. That should cover all three. And uh, we just got to wait for the building to go ahead on that. This one is on its way. Doesn't look like they've got a door to get in, though. Oh, look at that. It's got three little igloos around the side of it. So our people are working away. And they've added a door to it. So this is... Look what, look at the little penguins. <laughs> Standing there with his mallet. <laughs> so we've got our first little kid's house. We've got our flag out the front. We are going to build our wind turbine. We're going to prioritise that one just so the kid's house has got a little bit of power. And I'm guessing they need that to stay cold. Because, you know, cold is probably good for penguins. Right. Taking us time, we've got four people set to work, but only one is actually doing anything at the minute. But our turbine is coming together. He's doing a great little job, right? And all these buildings are all sorted. So this one is our food storage. It can hold up to 1,500 food. This one is our warehouse. can hold 1,500 items as well. That's our little builder's hut. This is our huddle centre. says it's a meeting zone where you can call all your penguins in a settlement to come together for a, for a celebration. And 50 penguins can fit inside that little square. we got a pharmacy where penguins go to get better when they're sick. And the treasury which can hold gold. Up to 1500 as well. So, looks like everyone's stopped working. We have got a, a small house for penguins. For child penguins. Decorations and coolers around give extra happiness to the house. So, what do we need to build roads? Is it just gold? How much gold do we have? Where does it tell us? we got 107 plastic that is oh we get an annual oh we got a calendar here by the way we're in january now in april we're going to get attacked by a group of seals and in july we'll get an annual support payment but i don't think we need there's a seal he's just stole our food they go over to our small food storage and start stealing so what we're going to end up doing here is put a few towers around there and so we can start shooting them but there's our first adult house our lodge being built one little penguin working away. Nearly done, nearly done. And that is complete. So we got our little flag, we got our mailbox, and we got a little signpost. 
Can't read it. Can't read it, but it's okay. The penguins can read it. We can't. It might not even be English. But let's see. Here's another seal coming in to rob our food, and there's nothing we can do about it just yet. Look. He's going straight in the front door, robbing food, <laughs> and running away. Seals come to the food store. It's to steal food. You should build defences around them. We will. We will. But we're just getting our houses up and running first. And then we're going to get another another quest, another task. So it's saying that we've got 1.7 months left to complete this task. And we're nearly there. This just needs 10 snow blocks. And we've got 62 on hand. So we've got plenty. Let's just speed this up and get the house built. And then we'll see what's next. So where is our gold balance? Oh, we've got 838. So we're doing okay. Our education is only 10%. Our happiness is 19%. So, as a reward for completing the task, we got 4 gold and 20 seafood mix. So, let our penguins do the thing for now and see what's next. So, here's another little seal coming in to steal our food again. Probably the right time of year to play this. It's absolutely freezing outside and we're playing an ice cold game. So, we haven't had any more texture quests yet. Oh, here we go. There's a task. It tells us on the bottom left a little event log. We started... We got a temporary reputation points task for finishing our housing, constructed the lodge, a thief steal, a thief seal at food. <laughs> God, that was a bit of a tongue twist and I couldn't get my words out there. Naturally, penguins can get hungry too. Let's focus on food production. A trawling dock is a place to catch fish, krill and squid with the help of nets. Okay, we'll accept that. We need a trawling dock and catch five fish. So the trawling dock is right there. So we've got to put this down by the water, but it does need power as well. So which way around does this go? We can stick that right there. And then we're going to need a wind turbine. Let's get one of these, and I'm just going to place it right as close as I can. Probably there it should be fine, right? Well, what if we do it to this? Yeah, we'll do it in the middle. We'll get them two built. We'll start collecting food, and we'll start making more power for it. Not under the protection of a defence tower against killer whales. Well, we haven't got a killer whale attack until August, so we might be okay. But there is another seal stealing our food again. Our builders are not really getting to work. It must be night time, maybe? I don't know. We're in February on year one, so we've still got another 11 months to go. Until we're done. This is so nice and relaxed and chill, this game so far. And, look, our builders are all just sat in the chairs watching... Each other do nothing. Right, can we add any more builders? We got four. No, we just got four. We got all four. Oh, we've built these. They've actually done that quite quick. We've got to put a worker inside our trawling dock. So let's see. This one has got a 19% productivity. And this one is 17. We'll get them two in. So we got Selman and Anastasia. They're both working. They're collecting food. Get our little nets in the water. Shame we can't catch this little idiot there who's coming to steal our food. But he keeps away from the nets. He's not soft. Oh, we've got a couple of homeless penguins, so let's get a couple more houses. Oh, task is complete. We've got five gold, eight fish, and 16 krill. Right, can we just slow this down a minute? And let's see. That's a one-year-old penguin, and that's a two-year-old penguin. So I think the baby's for the first year. So it is adult houses that we're going to need. So we just place one there, and one there. And that should do us. I think we're going to start needing defences soon though, but we're also going to need some roads. Going to build this one down to here, and this one down to there, and we're just going to bring it round. Oh, I missed one, I missed one. There we go. Uh, do you know what we probably should... Get another road coming up this way. Just so we can make our people walk a little bit easier. There we go. And we've got a new task. It wants us to build a science hub and produce six science points. And this is uh, fairly straightforward as well. If we go to our little technology tab and we got the science hub. This does need power as well. So I'm thinking, where do we want to do it? Maybe... Maybe place it around there and then put another wind turbine at the side. Just like that. If we move that 
you know what that if we put it there we can put a building on the other side can't we if we yeah just there i'm gonna do it if we need to we can put another one on the other side and that'll be fine so the science hub is i'm gonna make that a priority just so we can get it up actually you need both of them as a priority to be honest because it won't work without power and they're putting the stuff in anyway this is under construction it's halfway done look at it the buildings are so cool and our science hub is complete so we just need what the hell was that <laughs> that was the seal rubbing our stuff again okay so we're gonna build this little wind turbine and get our science points going and then we can unlock loads of stuff here's our little thing there we can do a snow block maker a herb collector carousel newcomer ramp and a basic cooler and this tree is massive We'll see how we get on with that. I don't know how far we can actually go. We've got another seal coming in to steal food. We've got no seafood mix. Only 7 squid and 30 dried fish and 43 fish. And we've got loads of krill actually. So that's doing quite well from this thing. Right, we need a worker. And uh, let's get this guy. Education, 14%. Probably our smartest penguin. Who was it? Enver. So Enver is going to go in and start producing science points. And then we're going to be able to unlock some stuff. We have got no points yet. But I don't know what we're going to unlock first. Maybe the snow block maker. And make some more stuff to build our city a bit better. But it is coming together. We have got two seals. There was one over there. It just disappeared. Unless it wasn't a seal. I don't know. Look, stealing food. All our people are bringing stuff in. And the seals are just running off with it. So, how are we doing? We need to produce six science points. We've only done one. Let's speed that up a little bit until we get through there. Still catching our fish. And we have got three science points now. They're building up quick. we got another little seal coming in. Right from there. Be great if you could have like a full row of defences all the way around. Our task has been completed. we got gold, snow blocks, garbage and plastic. They're important for building some stuff. So, we are going to need them. We have had a penguin born. Saint was born. Must be living in the little baby penguin house. He's one person in there. And he stays a baby for a year. And then he'll come out and start working. So. I think we probably want to do this next. It's going to take eight plastic, eight stone and two metal. Do we want to unlock it? Of course we do. And let's see. So that was the snow block maker. Where do we want to make this? Maybe we should do it on that side so it's already got the power. Don't think that's quite in range of that power there. So yeah, there should do. And we'll get that going. We have got another seal coming into attack. Okay, so our next task is to unlock the snow block maker, which we've done. We're in the process of building it and then we've got to make five snow blocks. We'll accept that. And where is it? Should we just prioritise that? I mean, it's the only building anyway, so it shouldn't be an issue. Right, we're gonna we're in March now. Oh no, we're in April. We are gonna get a group of seals attacking. We're gonna get a group of seals, and there's not gonna be anything we can do about it. Right, there's one of them, and they're both twelve percent. But we've only got one more spare person, which is a little bit low. Just waiting for this group of seals. I wonder how many are gonna attack. It says a group and it's a, a note in the calendar, so it can't be good, right? Right, our little snow block maker. Let's have a look what it is. We've got penguins sitting there spinning wheels. And they're spinning this drill and it's going down collecting the ice from underground and they're making the snow blocks with it. Here we go, we've got a seal coming. Oh, we've completed our task as well. Right, still only one seal. It's not too bad. Kind of like that this one is not too far away. To purchase it, we need gold and clay, a city settlement level. A settlement level of a city to do that one. And for this one over here, we need a settlement level of a province. So I don't know how we get that just yet. I don't know if we can in this playthrough. But we'll wait and see. So everything seems to be going so well up to now. Nothing major has happened. We have got another seal coming in and we've got a new task. It tells us to make an ice spear tower. Now, I think we should have this. I don't know whether to have it by this or by our food stores, but maybe in between both. So let's go to this. We've got 
What will it be under? An ice spear tower. Well, we've got power down here, so that covers our food storage and it also covers our food place. So maybe, just maybe we do it around there. Should be okay. I'd imagine there's another seal coming in. Our penguins are running for their lives. It's a good job these seals don't eat our penguins. That'd be really bad. Okay, so our tower is being constructed. You'll have to excuse me voice a little bit and I, I'm still dying of a cold and it's driving me mad. Every time I go to talk and my words aren't coming out and I have to pause it. But, you know, we'll get there. So we've got to produce four ice spears. Now we've got one person in there, Alec, and he is producing ice spears from these. Oh, here's all the seals. Look at them all. No way, we're going to have no food left. <laughs> he hasn't even started shooting yet. He's still producing the spears. Look at our food going down. We've still got loads of krill. We should be fine. We should be fine. Right, so we're in May now. In July, we get some money. In August, we get a killer whale. And our task is complete. Got four gold and 16 snow blocks. So we got 86 snow blocks, which is pretty good, I think. And our tower is done. We've got ice spears. So next time a seal attacks, we might be able to kill it. I don't know. What's this there? Here he is. Let's have a look. You gonna start shooting it? There we go. He's throwing spears at it. It's dead. <laughs> we protected our food. We protected our food. So what do we think is gonna be next? I reckon we're gonna. Oh, we got our task. We need to make a newcomer ramp. Where do we want to put this? Oh, we've got to learn it in this first. 12 points, we have got 35, so that's quite good. We need 8 garbage, 8 plastic, and 8 wood. We'll unlock you. And see where we build this. Newcomer ramp. So which way around does that go? That way. Right, if we put that there, is that in range? Do you know what? I might do it there anyway. We might not get this one. He's coming from the other side. He's saying that. He's got to come in the front door, right? Oh, look how cool that looks. We've got three little slides for the penguins to have fun. How did he swim up here? I don't know. <laughs> looks more of an exit than an entrance, doesn't it? So if we click on this, we get two new penguins in, th in three months. So that's quite a while, actually. We've only got one. So I imagine getting a bunch of these would be really good to have. We have completed our task and we got five gold, krill, plastic and snow blocks. So we got another seal about to come in and we'll see if we can take this guy out before he gets there as well. Yeah, we did. He only takes like two or three shots to die. But I guess we've got to make sure that we've got enough ice spears. Keep that on seven. I mean, it's handling the stuff all right up to now. There he goes. He's dead. They're all, they all seem to be dying before they steal our food now, which is really good. And we've got another task. We need a herb collector. Produce herbs. Okay, so that's going to be in the science department as well. 15 points. Takes 8 wood and 2 metal. And we produce herbs, which makes our penguins better when you get sick. So where is that one? Not in that one. Not in the houses. Herbs collector. Right, this needs power too. And it looks like... It looks like this has got to go by the water as well. If we do that there, we can just about make it into the power. We probably should get another tower on this side because it looks like we're going to get attacked soon. Oh, so we're going to get a killer whale. Let's hope the killer whale does not attack this. Because if it does, our newcomers won't be able to arrive. And that'll be quite bad. It looks like we've got to add a person to this. But we've got none. We're going to have to take someone out of our building. You're resting. We'll take you out of there and put you in this. We do need more penguins. We haven't got any homeless penguins, so that's okay. We've got a defense menu. We have killed six seals so far. Is this going to be seven? No, he's got away with food. Oh, we killed it. We killed it. That's good. Seven dead. He had a bit more health by the look of it. He lasted a little bit longer. So. What's next? What's next? We have... Oh, we're still producing. We need two more herbs. And this guy, he's done three... The fourth one is nearly there, and that quest will be complete. We've got another seal coming in, and that task is done. Five gold, 22 herbs, eight dried fish, and 10 garbage. 
Like, the reason I'm not building too fast is because I did have a little go with this game before, and I ran out of garbage, and I couldn't build anything. So, <laughs> I just want to keep it nice and slow, make sure we're doing things kind of in the right order to start off with, and make sure we get going. I mean, we could build our garbage collector quite early. Where is it? Don't actually know where it is. Oh, there. 19 points takes 8 stone, 8 wood, 2 metal. But I know it takes more power as well, which we don't have close by. But we can also make another something called a cooler at some point. Which will produce a little bit of power. There we go, the basic cooler. Penguins are using high-tech coolers that create extra ice for an area. Coolers create extra ice for their interaction area and provide energy for other buildings. Except for other coolers. Penguins don't lose their health when they're in the interaction area of an active cooler. Additionally, coolers give extra happiness to the houses around them. Right, so, do we want to put that up by the houses, or do we want to put that somewhere down this way? Let's go, and I think we've probably got to learn that in the science place, don't we? Basic cooler, 21 points. And then, we're going to need to build the cooler. Just got to find it first. Not in this one. Oh, it's in the power. So, a basic cooler. I'd say it's got no power. But if we do this... Right about there. That should be okay. I think if we need to do something there, then we should be able to build something next to it. But having a bunch of coolers would be really good. But we we need more people. Let's have a little look at our buildings here. What was this one? This was our herb collector. So they're collecting herbs from underwater, bringing them up to the surface, and using them to make medicines. And our basic cooler. Look at that. Looks so cool with all like the. It looks like electricity, doesn't it? And we've got to produce five herbs with one short, so that'll be done. We've got plastic, metal, and ice. We're doing quite well for our snow blocks. We could probably take one person out of our snow block producer. But I don't want to because I think we, we do need it. It's quite cool, that looking building, isn't it? If we click on it, it shows all the electricity. We've got our annual support payments. We got 73 gold. That was calculated considering our reputation. Okay, so I wonder what our next quest will be. We're going to need to raise our education, so our school is going to be on the list of things to do. Our killer whale is going to attack fairly soon. We need to unlock a carousel. So that is there, and that is all our first layer. Done. So a carousel is going to be somewhere for our penguins to have a little bit of fun. And this is going to be under fun, I guess. Carousel, this needs power as well. You know what, we might put this just down this way, because that that's got the power there, right? No, do you know what, we're going to put it up by the houses. Up by the houses. I don't think we need to prioritise this, but we're going to do it anyway. It's our only building, and our penguins are getting to work. Our people, kids are going to have loads of fun in this, aren't they? Look at that, <laughs> riding the seals. <laughs> it's all lit up and everything. So good. But from first impressions on this game, this is something that I probably will play when it eventually releases. Okay, task completed. Since you've completed the task on time, 20 reputation points were added. For 14 months, we got gold, garbage, and stone. How are we doing for stone? We got 87. So things are coming together quite well. Have we got anyone playing on the carousel? We need some more kids to be born and stuff. Now, we, on there, we have got a little egg. Mating is allowed. Each house has a reproduction possibility depending on their mating rate. So, everything is okay. Badges. To unlock the amusement badge, we need an ice rink, cinema, game centre, nightclub, 80 visitors with the ice rink yearly, and 100 visitors with the carton track. Wow. It sounds like we can make a really good, like, entertaining city for our penguins. Okay, penguin productivity is the average happiness and education percentages. Let's build a school for the lovely child penguins so that they can get some education. Child penguins get an education at school until they reach 50% education level. After that, they look for a high school to continue their education. Okay, so in this we are looking for a school. That's 19 points. And this is going to be... I'd imagine it was in this one, but... I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Community. 
Right, so we need a school. Or we need somewhere for our school to be powered as well. We probably want to put this somewhere by the houses. So the kids, it's right next door to the kids' house. So we're okay there. Let's prioritize you and get you built. Right, we are getting our killer whale attack soon. And I've got a feeling something's going to get destroyed. But we're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. School is coming. What's this going to look like? Look at that. It's got, it had, it's got its pillars resting on books by the look of it. It has big books. Got some plants on the outside. We've got a little bit of math on the front. And it's got a couple of pencils. <laughs> Looks so good. Since you've completed the task in time, 25 temporary reputation points for 12 months. Gold, plastic, snow blocks, and garbage. So our garbage is looking okay at the minute. We've got 73. But we are about to get a killer whale attack, which is bad because, especially if it's this herbs collector, because we have not got any protection on this side. We could possibly do another one of these, but I don't think we've got any more spare people. Let's see, if we go to our builder's yard, which is the builder's hut. We haven't got any idle penguins anyway, so we've got no one else we can use to put in a tower. So we need to do a food stand. Food stand serves for food serves food for penguins. Food stand workers take the best food and the closest food storage. If hungry penguins are in the interaction area of a food stand with available food, they eat the food stand, eat in the food stand, and get extra happiness. Otherwise, they use the food storage to eat. Okay, so unlock the food stand. That's that one. And we can build that with this. Right, so this needs power as well. I think we should... I th think we should probably build that by our food storage, right? And it's in protection of our tower then as well. There we go. That's good enough for me. We got another seal coming. Right, we still haven't seen our killer whale. Which I'm kind of pleased about. I don't want to see him, to be honest. Okay, so we are in August... I was going to stretch this out for a couple of videos, right? But we are in August and I think the game is going to end in January. So I might just do the one video for this and see how we go. Inadequate living space. We need more living, more houses for our people. But we've completed our task and we got a nice little bit of stuff. So we need someone to come and work here. Oh, we got two people. Let's see. We're going to get Anzalika. It's a bit noisy. Right, let's get ourselves another house. We're going to do another lodge. And we're going to put you right there next to the carousel. But we are going to need... Oh, hang on, hang on. <gasps> it's doing our herbalist building. We knew it, we knew it. The one that can't be saved. And we got a seal attacking as well. Right, before anything else goes, right, we are going to want another wind turbine. And we're going to place you just there. Just so we can extend our houses around that way. We have got an... A homeless three-year-old. <gasps> That's totally took away our building. Let's just rebuild our herb building before we do the next thing. Herb collector. And we had that just about there, right? Okay. So we got a new task. An ice rink. So in our science department, we have got an ice rink. We unlock you. And where do we want to build this? Another killer whale attack. Another one. It's breaking our trolling dock. We need this for food. We need... Oh, what a... What an idiot. <laughs> right, where was that? A trolling dock. We need another one. Put you back there. And we wanted an ice rink. We've got to find this now. Okay, so... Ice rink? Oh, it's going to be in fun. Right. Shall we put the ice rink up here by the houses? Looks okay, right? Have it right up there. Right, so we're going to need to prioritise you because we need our food supply, especially with all these things attacking and stealing from us. This thing has got no one working there. We're going to get Leo. And this is going to need someone working there too. We are going to get Selman and Anastasia. Right, that's good. And our ice rink should be coming next. Let's see. Prioritise you. This need that's got everything in it. It's just being constructed now. Okay, so we're gonna get a big group of seals attacking in September too. So we are pretty much there already. There we go. We've completed our task on time, 
and our penguins are having loads of fun in the ice skating rink. Didn't play for long, like, but, you know. <laughs> we got one seal coming over. Let's see if we can take you out. We have got, only got one ice spear. That's because we've been shooting them at the, um, at the shark. We need more of these, but we can't do it yet. We can't do it yet. An ocean garbage collector is our next on our list. So let's go and unlock this. But well, we need two more science points before we can do that. And then we'll wait a little bit. But things seem to be coming along really well. We are, we have got, we've got homeless child penguins. I get the houses. Oh, look at all these seals. We cannot fight these off. Hey, right, where can we put this? Where it's gonna get power. We'll go and put you up here by the ice skating rink and stuff. I'm hoping that one house is going to be enough for the child penguins. But we can't leave the kids on the streets. Right, have we got enough science points yet? We do. Let's get the garbage collector. And then we're going to build you. Right there. Doesn't look like we can make the power. So we're going to have to make another wind turbine. Turbine or a cooler. I'm going for turbine. Right, we could, we've got a bit of power there, so move this across to that side. So we've got scope for something else on the other side. Okay, so our penguins are all housed again now, which is great. Okay, so we're coming along well. This has still got no power, so we need to prioritise you. I was hoping that that would reach, but not quite, not quite. But our penguins have got to run all the way there. Let's see if we can add anyone else back to our building pool yet. No, we've still got no idle penguins. I'm wondering if we're going to need to reduce our builders by one again. Just so we can man this. Yeah, we haven't got enough people. So we're going to have to knock someone off you. Get one person into that. And it's going to be Paul. What a name for a penguin. Right, so we are in October of our first year and we are quite close to the end of our first playthrough. Our food is looking quite good. Our city is building up nicely. We are producing garbage though. We've got to do six and we've done one up to now. So that is scanning for, pla uh, I guess it's scanning for rubbish in the ocean and then it turns it into plastic. Let's see. Collects ocean garbage, then it can be re re reprocessed into plastic material. It's a plastic recycling station and wood material, wood recycling station. Okay, so we've got three out of six done now. Looks like we haven't got an attack, a big attack until February. And um, did our newcomer ramp? It did, our newcomer ramp brought people in, didn't it? So that was where we got the baby penguin. Oh no, we must have got people in. Right, we've got 11 penguins and 12 houses, six babies and room for eight. So we're still okay for housing. And we are nearly done for our garbage. We've done four out of six. The fifth one. Oh, he's gone for food. He's not actually working right now. He's still eating. Now he's going back to work. Where is he? There he is. He's coming around the corner. And he's going to go in and he's going to finish making this. And then he's got one more to do and we will be done. we got 1.7 months left to complete that quest, which is quite good. We keep killing loads of seals. We killed three this month. Let's see what we've done in total. 31 altogether. We got garbage, stone, and money. Right, so that is that one done. Right, next up. None of these are protected, but it didn't seem to matter because that was protected and we still lost it anyway. So I think we'd need probably more than just one covenant. We'd probably need quite a few, actually. But again, we don't have the penguins to do this just yet. But we're still okay for people. Well, we're okay for housing, not really people. We've got our next task. We've got to unlock a vase for a decoration. Decorations provide extra happiness points to the houses. The residents in the houses are in range of extra happiness points at the end of every month. Okay. So, do we need to do that from here? A vase. There we go. 26 points. That's expensive, that. And in this, we go to decorations and we've got a vase. Right, we're going to see if we can put this in between any of our houses. We can't quite do it. But, let's see. What I would like to see on this is a way to move your houses. Right, we can do them too. 
Looks like we're only going to get two wherever we put it, so we'll stick it there. And we'll get you prioritised. That only takes 20 stones, so that's not too bad. Right. So, unlock the vase, we're done. Build it, build it. And then produce six garbage, which we are doing. It would be nice if we had an extra person in there, but... We can't just yet. Right, we've still not had any more people have babies. So, our people in the houses, right? This has got full capacity. The people are working. They've got low mating rate. Let's see if this one goes up. Uh, two on the multi-happiness. No cool the happiness or decoration happiness. So, you know, I think that is something that we would have to look at if we were doing a longer playthrough. Maybe have a bit more of a gap around the houses, possibly. Let's have a little look at our vase. Do you say vase or vase? Vase. I say vase. Look at him. He's not even skating. He's just... Sliding around on his belly. You could do that out here. He doesn't need an ice skating ring. Right, let's see. So, that still keeps the mating rate low. This one gives us three happiness points. That one's only got two, but we get three points for the vase as well. Right, we need one more garbage, which is nearly done. And that quest will be done. And we are still in November. Still in November. We. It'd be nice if we could figure a way to get more people in quicker. But... I guess if we had a few more of these, we could do it a lot faster. Might be worth it in the long term. Okay, our task is done. We got plastic, stone, wood, and money. Are we going to have time for another quest before it finishes? I'd like to think so. What could we build? We've only got 30 points, so I don't want to build something that we're not ready for. We might actually get the village hall. Oh, we could do fish. A fishing dock. A library. And we're nearly got enough points there then to move on to be in a city. And we'd be able to purchase another island if we had the money. Well, we probably have, actually. Okay. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> I heard something. Oh, a thief seal. F food in a small food storage. Oh, we never had a look at this little building either. This is our little food stand. We've got a task. We want to do the temple. So let's get that unlocked, and the temple is there, 27 points. Now, a seal just got a, nearly got away with food. So our temple is... Where's our temple? Community. Temple is in community. This needs a bit of power. So where do we want to stick this? Maybe we could put it... Just there, because it does actually get the power there without having to build more. We got another seal. These seals have got 150 health. They only used to have 100. So they're getting harder to kill. So each shot with the spear takes 50 health. Which isn't too bad. How many spears have you got? You've got four left. Our temple is prioritised. And I want to see what this looks like. We are in December on the first year now. Well, what do you think of this game? Kind of looks cool to me. Right. We, what are we needing? We just need the construction to go up. Our people, we, looks like we've had another, another adult. So what could we do with doing here? I don't actually know where we'd want to put it. The herbs are okay. Garbage is looking fine right now. And we have got our little temple. Where our little penguins can go and worship. A place of worship to increase spirituality. Each visit brings two happiness points. When the spirituality bar is empty, this place can be visited by the penguins. If the penguin is in the interaction area and there's an available seat. Okay, quest is done. Oops. Okay, so... Is there anything else that we can do? I can't unclick off... Oh, there we go. My mouse is kind of stuck. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a bug there. But I can't wait to see the finished developments of this game. This is going to be one to watch for sure. So we've got 21 points. Is it worth 50 points for that one? We can't actually afford to open anything else just yet. So we are kind of just waiting. We could build one more house in preparation for the next influx of people. But that's not going to happen until February anyway. So I think we're... We're okay for housing. There's nothing else that we can build that we haven't yet. Doesn't kind of look like. 
No, everything's looking okay. We have got another task though. Unlock the fishing dock. Let's see, let's see. So the fishing dock is 25 points. We need one more. Just one point. And then we can probably put that just down here. Come on, give me that last point. Speed that up just to get there. There we go, there we go. Oh, there's our annual report. We got 1,031 reputation. Clear conscience. My uh, was top of the list. Uh, our ranking is 40. Seems okay, I guess. We're still a village. So we never quite made it to a city. Our minimum requirements to reach a city title is 1,500 score. And we got 1,031. So we were a little bit away. Our happiness, education, we're all good. Our gold went down. Reputation went up. Penguins, kids, all raised up. Two penguins joined with the newcomer ramp. None from the exploration centre. Six babies were born. One penguin died. No killer whales killed. 42 seals died. And we've got no active badges. Now, we can't play any further in until next year when the game comes out. But I do really like this. I will play it when it comes out. But let me know what you think in the comments. Are you looking forward to playing it? Are you going to buy it when it comes out? Let me know. Oh, before we go, um, all our penguins are huddling up for an end of year party. <laughs> look at them all. <laughs> they look so happy with themselves. It's quite cool. So that is the end of our playthrough. Um, we can't play this anymore until it'll be released in quarter one or quarter two of 2024. Full version of the game. Uh, until released, we'd like to collect feedback and suggestions. Let me know what you think down below and we can always feed back and let them know. So, yeah, that is where we are finishing off. Really fun. I definitely will be buying this when it comes out. If you did enjoy the video, if you want to see more stuff like this, and we've got loads of other playthroughs on the channel, hit that subscribe button, drop some comments down, hit the thumbs up, let us know what you think. And I want to say a big thank you to all the people who signed up on the Patreon and joined as members. It really does mean a lot. Thank you so much for all the support, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.